Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Walkthrough Level 14, Tower Defiance for Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. Alright, so every time I keep saying, I wonder if this is the end of the Joker Stater. Nope, he's with us all the way to the end. So, regardless, this is, uh, you know, right where we left off. We're going to go ahead and hop in the old Robin Batman mobile <laughs> and uh, drive right to the giant Joker Stater yet again. So after a brief cutscene, we'll go ahead and start advancing, but a couple fun facts about level 14 is that we need 50,000 studs for the superhero requirement. We do find five mini kits on our first playthrough, and we also get to save that pesky citizen in peril. So, again, here we are towards the end of the cutscene, huh? Oh, gotta love superheroes. Wonder Woman, God, where's she been? She's been hiding out for a while. All these other superheroes get quite a bit of play. Batman, Superman, Green Lantern. I mean, they're all, like, mainstream. Wonder Woman, psh, where you been? Where you been, bitch? All right, so right off the bat, we're going to stud whore it up. We did uh, tremendously speed this up. And uh, once we get done here, the first thing we will set our eyes on is the mini kit over here. So that gold box right there is something we will be dealing with here in a second cyborg also has a uh, heat ray kind of like yo yo superman buddy and then of course green lantern can fly so between the two of those guys um you know they're they can pretty much provide most of what superman can except for the invincibility all right, so as you can see, we did go ahead and blast that gold crate and get a mini kit for doing so. And there was also a uh, purple stud at the middle there after you bust that thing open. I'm sure you guys saw that. It's pretty hard to miss that. Going to go ahead and use uh, the magnetic pole of the cyborg to bring it down and go ahead and then blast the gold handle. Once you blast that gold thing, it then drops a bunch of green bricks, which only Green Lantern can put together. And they kind of trick you, because once you get it all together, they give you some, some studs, and then you go after them, and you lose your green bricks. you got to build them all again. So every once in a while, I'll have some issues with that, because I'm a stud whore. I see those studs, and I drop everything and run for them. So then uh, it actually, that hand pulls up a little bridge. We go and shimmy across the bridge, and then it's back to stud whoring it up. Cha-cha, cha-cha. And go ahead and use the powers of the cyborg to pull that handle out. And then it actually uh, opens up some more green bricks that Green Lantern can handle. Booyakasha, booyakasha. Knock, knock. All right, so some baddies drop down. Got to take those guys out. Make sure you pick up all of the studs that you possibly can. Uh, I think the stud levels are so low on this, uh, generally because you, you, know, you tend to die... A fair amount. There's lots of places to die, anyways. Not saying you suck, just saying there's opportunity. Um, so, alright, so once everything crashes, you kill out all the baddies. It's gonna go ahead and leave you some bricks, you build the bricks, you get a Robin suit signal, switch into the ice, freeze the pipes, or the water dropping down from the pipes, rather, and uh, then climb up them. Once you get to the top, you can see that there is some stuff to smash, but point of interest is gonna be that big gold wall. Go ahead and use the super awesome meat gaze that's right I said the meat gaze and uh, pull it back and uh, <laughs> use it to go ahead and uh, get that gold open this next room here presents itself with quite a few more baddies just some little lex bots nothing you can't handle smash them all up and then we'll go ahead and hop in this little uh, Batman whatever and ride it for a minute it's gonna give you some studs and it's also gonna drop out a mini kit we can show too many kids Tried to ride it and milk it for some more, but it didn't work. So, if you can't get it to uh, move around, you just gotta push the the left stick. So we'll go back to Robin here in a second and switch to the uh, blast those little uh, posts up there, which I also took care of uh, one of those baddies by encasing him in ice. He's an ice hole. Leave him alone. All right, stud hoard up. Blast those two. Uh, I don't know what you'd call those things. I could probably find out. 
Once you do so, it'll free that clear. You can use what's his face to climb up. <laughs> he doesn't have a face, he's a cyborg. And then once you get up there, obviously there's some gold boxes, so we'll go ahead and destroy them with our meat gaze, our heat ray. And grab green lantern, fly up there, and make your way with those bricks. This was an interesting one. A spider to go ahead and chew that up. That was, you know, whatever. It's better than using a hammer over and over again, I guess. A little more creative. Can't be mad at creativity. Unless the person isn't very creative. <laughs> they just suck at being creative. Alright, so work your way to the top. Make sure that uh, you put together the signals or the suit signal. And switch Batman on over to the power suit. And then switch on back over to Robin in the ice suit. And put out the fire. <laughs> and then you still need Robin to go ahead and blast that uh, ice post. And then it kicks on the fan for us. After we grapple the below hook. So yeah, now that we're at the top, there is a mini kit over behind that bat suit floating around to the left. We will grab it here in a second. There's also a couple uh, high value studs back there. I believe a purple or two and a few blue. Yeah now. Yeah now. Alright, level 14. We are almost done with the story mode. Alright, so there's a couple purples and there's another mini kit. Booyah kush. Ow. So we'll come back out once we got all that cleared out and we're happy with everything. We'll go ahead and hit the ice switch with Robin's ice suit. And then it opens it up for Batman to go ahead and switch to the electricity suit, allowing him to go walk through the field of electricity. Yeah, this guy pissed me off. He kept hiding, and every time I threw something or punched him, he would hide. And he kept ducking. I never get him, but I don't think he shows his face again. Batman must have farted or something. Because he is <laughs> on hide mode for show. All right, use Robin at the top. Once you take out the baddies, then go ahead and climb up to that top with the electricity suit. And disperse the electricity you've gathered from that first switch up into the top. Bum -ba and then it does something to that generator up top. Like rub it the wrong way. Drop some more green bricks for you. Go ahead and you know the drill. Have Green Lantern go ahead and fix up those airplanes to kamikaze their way into that fan. And once you're ready to move on, I thought there might be something hidden up there, but no such luck. Let's go to the back of the fan, and it'll take you to the roof. I'd hate to be uh, Bruce Wayne or anybody you know, related to the Wayne Tower, because that place is fucked up. All right, so once you're on top, go ahead and destroy the air conditioner off uh, to the side there. And then it'll present those green bricks. And yeah, go ahead and throw that dump truck at him. A little ironic, a green dump truck getting thrown at a green Devastator looking like figure. <laughs> Lately, there's been some copyright stuff that's just, just questionable at best. All right, so there's a save there. Make sure you save your game, peeps. You don't want to have to do any of this more than you have to. And if you are a trophy achievement hunter, you will be returning to do this stuff. So no sense in playing it three or four times. I already had one of those mistakes early in the play, and it was not fun. Alright, so obviously uh, grab Robin, switch over to this, the hazard suit, and then take care. Well, first got to jump in the water, fill your tank up, then you're going to go ahead and use that water to disperse of the toxic waste around these purple barrels. Takes me a minute to get it. I don't know if it's user error or game, but... Was able to do some things, but not all. And now we will go ahead and destroy those purple barrels. And once it's all free and clear there, it will present a few bricks that you can build up. And it actually provides a gold handle there. 
that gold handle, you can use the power of Cyborg to go ahead and pull it up. But before you do so, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's before or after, you want to make sure you grab Robin one last time and come back here and fill this tank up with water. Once it's completely full, it will blow the lid across the way and provide another mini kit. Go ahead and use Green Lantern to fly over, for he is the only guy you can fly with at the moment. And that grabs yet another mini kit. We've got another one up here on the roof coming up, and a citizen in peril, so pay attention, people. With that helicopter busted out due to the awesome sauceness of Mr. Cyborg, we will go ahead and Circus du Soleil across. I guess it's Cirque du Soleil. If I'm going to use references, I might as well do it right, because I know viewers will correct me. I love you for that. But uh, once we get across here, we're going to go ahead and put out any fires that we may or may not have started. Who knows? And then deposit yet some more electricity to give that nice giant purple and green a-hole one little shock to slide him over to the final spot. Once we get over here, uh, we are definitely going to want to smash everything in sight and blow everybody up or kill everybody depending on your weapon of choice. Smash them, grab them, throw them, pound them in the ground. And uh, we are going to, once we destroy those two middle air conditioners or whatever they were, we're going to build them up into a giant whatchamahoosit. No, it's actually a missile turret. We'll get to that in a minute. We don't want to miss out on this mini kit over here. So grab a green lantern, fly up high, and go to the first level, destroy the air conditioners to provide the mini kit. And the second level, go up top, and you can save that citizen in peril. I don't know what they were doing to that guy, but it didn't look like he was going to make it through the night. So good thing we showed up. And yeah. Joker's got a buzzer on his hand. I'd hate to see what he does after hours if you know what I'm saying. All right. So we go ahead and hop in the missile launcher here. Blast away. Uh, the aim on this thing is crazy high. So definitely aim low. Every time you hit him, it uh, knocks you out and drops a bunch of guys. You can't hurt him, even if it does allow you to stay in there. I guess I was jumping out, so it might not force you out. But it, it, basically, there's three rounds. Each round, you're going to get some bricks, and uh, you're going to build them at the third round. So we've hit him once. got the first round of baddies and bricks. Here comes the second round of baddies and bricks. And we're going to hop in for one last little joyride in the missile launcher. Bleak show. All right, so we smash it all up. Last wave of guys. And then, of course, once we get all those guys done, we can go ahead and build you-know-what with you-know-who. Choo-choo. Chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga. Asshole Express. Serve it up. Ding. All right, look at this wuss. He's like, oh, I'm not sure. All right, so there is a significant amount of uh, stuff fl flying up at you as you flail all over. And uh, you actually get studs for taking out any of the bad guys, the little minions with umbrellas. I guess they're not umbrellas. They're more parachutes. Um, and you lose health for hitting anything else. So avoid all the bad stuff and, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter if you hit people or not unless you haven't got the superhero requirement yet, which I'm sure you have by now. But essentially, again, LEGO loves threes, so there are three hearts, three stages to this. You basically fall, land on him, kill the baddies, then go after Joker. Green Lantern's ideally the best character because he can fly and jump between the legs as opposed to walking down them because the Joker only pokes up to play whack-a-mole. I guess it's whack-a-joker. And I mean it in a non, you know, sexual way when I say that. Despite the fact that Green Lantern turns into a giant green fist and slams down when you're in the air. His little ground pound. All right, so, again, you're just going to want to, you know, when he plays whack -a Joker, just go ahead and smack him right in his face. And each time you get to take one heart, and then it kicks you back into another spin. And avoid the crap, and then, you know, get the dudes again. In a uh, happiest, non, you know what is kind of way. All right. So, we're almost homing in down here. Gonna strike one last time at the bottom. And that'll cue a final cutscene. 
Uh, but, uh, yeah, or, or you can die 17 times before then, too, and make this video like an hour longer than it needs to be. <laughs> uh, thank God for times, too. All right, so whack Joker right in his face. And Joker stayed her down. All right. It's a nice little green platform we're all standing on. Green smoke, you know. All right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's teamwork. Dun, dun, dun. Tower defiance. Trophy slash achievement. That is awesome. All right, enough of my wonderful yet awful singing. All right, that's going to go ahead and wrap up Lego Batman 2 DC Superheroes Level 14 Walkthrough, also known as Tower Defiance. We actually found five of ten mini kits and saved a citizen in peril. So, woohoo! Feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Get on over to Twitter, follow us at Happy Thumbs on Facebook, facebook.com slash Happy Thumbs Gaming. And uh, until next time, so. Uh,